dear students welcome to my channel today i am going to discuss how to convert an nfa to a dfa that is conversion of non deterministic finite state machine to deterministic finite state machine so if you observe this transition graph we have three states q0 q1 and q2 from the state q0 on reading 0 it is moving to the state q0 as well as q1 so here for a single input 0 it is moving to more than one state it means that it is an nfa so you how to convert an nfa to a dfa to do this first wash what we should follow first you try to construct the transition table for the dfa so the transition table for the dfa is whatever is the starting state of the nfa the same will be the starting state even for the dfa so step 1 what we are going to do add the state q0 that is the starting state of an nfa as the starting state for the dfa so qod the starting state of dfa will be the starting state of the nfa whatever we have so here we got the state q0 q0 is the starting state for the dfa so what do you do first you try to construct the transition table for the dfa so initially we are we got the state q0 for the input symbol 0 and 1 try to construct the transition table now see this find the transitions the alphabet step 2 the alphabet step for the, uh, the non determinant for the dfa remain same as what we have for the nfa so the alphabet set here is summation summation is equal to 0 comma 1 next we have to identify the transition so the transitions from q0 if you observe the nfa q0 this is the new state we have identified initially qd is having q0 so q0 on 0 you find the transition on 0 it is q0 as well as q1 so add q0 q1 on 0 from the state q0 on 1 where it is moving see the nfa diagram q0 on 1 q0 on 1 it is moving to q0 itself it is a self loop so from the state q0 we have identified the new state that is q0 and q1 the new state what we have identified on one it is q0 already we have added q0 so you add the new state which you got the new state which you got is q0 q1 so add this new state q0 q1 in the transition table of the dfa so here now how to find the transitions for q0 q1 consider transitions of from the nfa that is your finding for the dfa to d of q0 q1 is equal to to n of that is transition of nfa q0 on 0 union to n of q1 on 0 so we should find the transitions now see the nfa q0 on 0 where it is moving it is moving to q0 as well as q1 to n q0 on 0 it is q0 q1 write this union q1 on 0 q1 on 0 where it is moving q1 on 0 there is no transition it is phi so q0 q0 q1 union of phi it is q0 q1 itself so now on 0 q0 q1 on 0 where it is moving now it is on 0 q0 q1 on 0 it is moving to q0 q1 write the transition similarly q0 q1 on 1 we have to solve now to d of q0 q1 on 1 we have to solve now so here that is transition from the nfa q0 on 1 union q1 transition from nfa q1 on 1 i should find so q0 on 1 where it is moving q0 on 1 it is moving to q0 itself union q1 on 1 where it is moving it is moving to q2 so i got a new state now q0 union q2 is q0 q2 itself so this is the new state that is q0 q1 on 1 it moves to q0 q2 so add that state into the transition table q0 q2 at this point if we observe q0 q1 only we have added here in the transition of qd now the new state what we got is q0 q2 so add this new state q0 q2 
and similarly find the transitions like how we did for q0 q1 so add the new state q0 q2 and find its transitions on 0 where it moves and on 1 where it moves so fine transition for the dfa from the state q0 q2 on 0 where it moves i should identify now on 0 this is a new state i got which is equal to what tau in of q0 on 0 union tau in of q2 on 0 which is equal to tau in of q0 on 0 it is q0 q1 union tau in of q2 on 0 q2 on 0 there is no transition it is null so you have got the same state q0 q1 so write the state here q0 q1 then find the transition for the q0 q2 on 1 tau d of q0 q2 on 1 we should calculate now so here that is equal to what tau in of q0 on 1 union tau in of q2 on 1 which is equal to what to q0 on 1 see this nfa q0 on 1 it is going to q0 itself union q2 on 1 q2 on 1 there is no transition it is null so q0 union null we get q0 itself so q0 q2 on on 1 it is going to the state q0 itself okay guys now do we get any new states here we observe q0 q1 is already added q0 here it's already there so no need to further find the transitions if you get any new states you should add the new states and again for that new states on 0 on and on 1 you should compute so here since we don't get any new states already the same states q0 q1 and q0 is already repeated so no need to add this state so stop at this point now now I should identify my starting state and final state. So already we have identified starting state Q0. And which is our final state now? Observe the NFA. In the NFA, Q2 is the final state. So in this state, see where and all Q2 is present. That will be our final state. So here Q2 is present in the state Q0, Q2. So this becomes our final state. So here in the NFA we should observe which is the final state. Q2 is our final state. So this state will be our final state because we have the Q2 in this group. So mark this as a final state. So once all our states are ready, the transition table is ready. Next is it's easy for us to construct the transition graph for our transition table. Now start from the observe the table and try to write the transition graph. Starting state is Q0. So from Q0 on reading 0, it is going to the state Q0, Q1. On reading 1, it is going to Q0 itself. Then Q0, Q1 state. From the state Q0, Q1 on reading 0, it is going to Q0, Q1 itself. So on reading 0, it is self loop Q0, Q1. On reading 1, it is going to, from the state Q0, Q1, on reading 1, it is going to Q0, Q2. Then, from Q0, Q2, on 0, it is going to Q0, Q1, on 0. Then, from Q0, Q2, on 1, it is going to Q0. Okay, guys. Then, which is our final state? Q0, Q2 is our final state. Mark this final state in the transition graph. So this is our answer. So here we have constructed an equivalent DFA for the given NFA. So this is our answer. Hope you understood. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. Thank you.